off the sun. The sun is out. The sun is doing its thing right now. It must be golden hour. Because the winter just passed. And now the sun is super bright at this time. Which is like 4.30? <laughs> Anyways, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a huge... Makeup Forever haul. I got three, well, I got two gift sets. And I have this foundation gift bag. What's that? Is it a gift? It's a set. It's not really a gift. It's just a huge set. And look at all my sprays. Anyways. We gotta jump right into this video because there's a lot of stuff and I have to explain why it's already open and I had two of the boxes down there. This was all three boxes of Makeup Forever product that I started to purchase in January because they had a huge freaking sale. I'm talking like one of these I got for 12, like 11.85, 12 bucks. And they're literally like $30. And look, I freaking, look, I got two, two big ones of the same. I can't believe it. These are all, um, mist fixes. The, I bought all of these together. And one of them came in a foundation set. So I'm thinking I'm going to give one to my sister my youngest sister who freaking loves makeup because she moved out of my mom's house and I'm like so happy for her I just want to give her like a cute little bundle because I know it's not hard like moving out of your family's house and like on your own or like with a boyfriend or something like that and like especially if you're ready to have a baby you know what I mean these these are <laughs> Just a bunch of samples but yeah um usually when i buy makeup forever it's because i got or i get an email saying that they have a friends and family event and they want to save you money but also they want you to have really good stuff in your everyday or if you're a professional makeup artist they're hooking us up with these friends and family events because if you are not subscribed to makeup forever what are you doing why are you purchasing it from sephora for a full price <laughs> or why are you waiting for sephora's and i'm talking to my past self like why was i waiting for sephora's uh events and now that i'm thinking to myself sephora didn't even have that many events so it's like once i started to like leave the ulta and sephora world behind and like go to the the actual product like the actual company's website and purchase from them like you get so much more gifts and like yeah you get points or whatever but like is there somebody really buying that much product and getting the five dollars or ten dollar uh gift card that they give you so anyways <laughs> my sprays I got in January and I totally forgot about them because I don't even wear makeup like that like when I came back from California I was like so dry like honestly when I was leaving Arizona or in like heading into California like that whole dry desert cactus no nothing all sand and <laughs> plateaus I was like so freaking dry like my hair I remember like doing a video of like my mom cutting my hair and like my hair was like short up to here and like uh, I just had to like reevaluate everything that was going on with me <laughs> from the winter 
I guess the end of fall and like through winter. So yeah, we're good now. <laughs> I quit coffee, it's okay. I got one of these and I I don't remember like how awesome this lipstick is. So I got like a little sample. And let's see. I I want to like go through this stuff and like see what what I could give to my sister. I'll probably give my sister all these samples. Oh my gosh, remember my like very first makeup forever um haul? I had like these um I know I had these two. I cannot find the full size. I'm like, what the heck happened to it? But that's for me. I always travel. I'm like never in one spot. I just like pray someday that I'm like, okay, can I like officially have a place? So I'm like not living out of a suitcase, but I don't think that will ever be. I've always lived out of a suitcase. So I just, that's why I love these bags. Like literally got three bags. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, one's foundation. One's going to be, I don't know, powders. So one's been foundation and concealers. And then the other one will be powders. Like these two bags. So I know that's going to be like my face, my skin, you know? And this one could be, oh, maybe these got to be my powders. Because I was like, what about my contour palette? This is like, fits perfectly. I'm hiccuping because I don't ever drink soda. I have a Coke Zero that I just finished. Tired skin, what if you could reboot it? Oh, this is their reboot foundation. I don't know if it's like an older foundation because it has like, well, no, because I don't know. Okay, so see like these sponges? This sponge came with the, the foundation kit, which is this foundation. Which is also like a tinted moisturizer. It's like a tinted moisturizer foundation. See, like look at the lid. Or the cap is white. It's not like the um, the color. It's like their newer foundations. The whole bottle and the lid is like the color of your foundation that you chose. Which is very aesthetically pleasing. If they were all out on the shelf like that. All the testers must look so good. Uh, anyways, this came with this and the concealer. I'm not there yet, but there's like so much stuff, you guys. Like, you need to go sign up for Makeup Forever. Like, everything was 30% off. Everything. Even the $99 face kit, which, like I said, I'm about to show you. But I'm so stuck on these samples. <laughs> Let's just put them away. Literally, a primer here's a second primer here's a reboot here is their uh, matte velvet skin concealer concealer and this is the foundation I was talking about in this one I mean, okay is it HD skin concealer let me see I was looking for that too here it is HD skin smooth and blur undetectable concealer that also came in the foundation kit yes see it is their new one look at it so freaking white like let me see oh no this is not the sweater to test any kind of makeup in i'm loving this golden hour with the sun just beaming out my products Also, okay. <laughs> let's see. Should I put them? Should I open? Yeah, why not, right? I don't know. Okay, I'm just like going through this stuff. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm like organizing my brain so I know what the heck I'm telling you guys. It's kind of confusing. <laughs> There's like so much freaking makeup. Like, why do we put that? Why do we put it on? Why do we put it through? Why? I don't. I just. I, it's, it's confusing for me. I can't even talk. This is beautiful. 
Why do we put ourselves through that? That's what I was trying to say. But I couldn't say it because I know why. <laughs> Like, we don't want to be ugly. We don't want bad skin. And speaking of skin, holy crap. I don't know if you've seen my Target haul video, but my skin was just reacting to these bathroom demos. And I was just like, I can't. I need to come in with a full-on, like, Willy Wonka freaking factory suit on or something like that. Like, literally, when he just, like, you zip up head to toe and you have to put the goggles on. Oh, my gosh, because my skin was just like when i'd step even by an exposed demoed wall or like oh my gosh i just feel my skin like like starting to heat up starting to itch and it was just like really crazy and i just had to like evaluate my nutrition again like i could eat a freaking salad every freaking day but I don't know if it was like the coffee, the oatmeal. I can't even drink oat milk anymore because I think I have, I think I noticed this before, but I have like a react, I have an allergic reaction to eating an excessive amount of oatmeal. So something in the intestines where it's like your body can't process the oats anymore. Like, sorry, no more oatmeal, no more granola, no more. I mean, I still eat my fruit and yogurt and granola, but I can't drink um, Starbucks coconut milk. I can't drink um, the oat milk that they give you in any of the coffee shops. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm doing a really good job though because I can barely, you can, I can't, I can't even see. Like I had like a little bit of flakage right here. You could probably see like a red dot. But other than that, like my face is pretty like clear like whew. okay anyways i have this triangle puff it is brand new because it came out with this new hd skin setting powder again everything was 30 percent off nothing was full price in here so this is their new hd setting powder i got it in 2.1 medium neutral they don't come with like how I said medium neutral it's not really like I don't know how to explain it it's definitely like a turn you could see it like right here I could feel it it like turned once and like there's like a little bit of powder that comes out right here so it literally is like the shape of this you know what I mean this edge piece you could also turn it around if you want to do your cheeks, but it's a setting powder. So you probably just want to set your T-zone with it. <clears throat> because they also have their, um, the HD Skin Foundation Powder. Which is the reason why I purchased another one of these. Which is the HD Skin Matte Velvet, um spongy pad here let's open it because i need a brand new one mine is got dropped see it's just like this pad i don't know i i like the other ones because one side was like really like soft like it was like one of these like a on the side of that and the other one was like a, a soft squishy sponge and now this is just like a sponge And there's that. And then separately, I got this. Oh no, the sun. I want to do like a, a close up. But also, the sun. How do I know? <laughs> Anyways, this is called Water Tone, and this one is a, just a makeup sponge, it's called. But look at, like, the difference. Like, can you see the difference? I 
I'm very interested in like what it's gonna feel like. as well I showed you in like my birthday haul that I'm collecting makeup forever brushes because it's just a brush that's always been on the shelf that I was like wow I want one of these but they're so expensive but like they are discounted all the time like one of them like you get like I don't know 11 one of them was $17 like I did, I have not gotten any eyeshadow blendy brushes, and this, these are both. Oh, one of them is like flat, and one of them looks super fluffy for like an all over. And so this, well, honestly, okay. So these two eyeshadows, I'm gonna show you right now. These two eyeshadow brushes, I got these two eyeshadows, and they're kind of like just like they're not like a contour they're a traditional or a blending <laughs> color see one is white and then the other one is like a very very neutral uh, light skin tone and this one is called something cotton natural cotton yes and then i got a all around white literally all around so i've noticed uh, I used to do it before because I just, it looks so clean and so beautiful to have like an all white eyeshadow and just like a crisp, um, I think that's a tile cutter because we're still doing tile. <laughs> so the thing is like to do like an all around eye. So the thing is to do like an all around white eyeshadow without any like contouring and I think it's so beautiful with like a clean eyeliner, uh, winged eyeliner or not even uh, eyeliner, just like white eyeshadow and maybe like a nice clean falsy. I think it's so beautiful. So you always want a white eyeshadow in your kit. So yeah, I just chose these two. Eyeshadows <laughs> and these two brushes. So the reason why I got those two brushes is because the uh, brushes in my list are ones that well, basically I think I just marked down like all the brushes that they carry, and then I started to go through, um, like reviews. So like oh my gosh this brush is like 4.8 reviewed stars and i was like wow i really need that brush or it's like a brush that they're like hi in this video we're gonna teach you how to do this and without this you know the artist really needs uh the, to get the job done and with that tool it's gonna be this brush and i was like you know what this is a fact and i can't i need that brush so it's based on like reviews and like prices and like discount prices and like discount discount prices because there was one time where I got like a discount and then I got a discount on top of that so it was cheaper than the original discount price and there was a few brushes like that where I was like what does a double crossed off mean <laughs> that's what it meant and then there's like just lots of numbers in those notes <laughs> Okay, so let's see. So these two eyeliner pencils, they came with this, this makeup bag right here. And this was a free gift if you spent like, I think $100 or something like that. So uh, I'm going to get like the free gift. So it is this Rouge, Artist Rouge 402 Untamed fire red lipstick it's like a mini and also these gentle eye gels they're just like a gel eye cleanser for um like eyeliner like caked into the lash line as well as mascara 
and also this loose micro loose finishing powder and then here's another lipstick and a micro finishing powder in my lap I don't know why but um here I'm gonna open and show you what these look like except for the eyeliner that is such as obvious <laughs> this little tiny little eye gel you literally could see how much is in there too this much I could see the shadow I don't know how it's not showing up on camera or why but I could see through the bottle and it's literally through there so it's a waterproof makeup remover you probably don't even need a lot because it's the eye area and less is more with products that have to deal with your eyes Okay, so this is a micro finishing powder. I think I have one. I don't know if it's from Makeup Forever or from NARS, but literally it's it's like pressed like this. Well, here, I'll get the white one because obviously micro finishing powder, it's pressed. And this is like a micro finish loose powder. And let's see the red. Here is the most lipstick blot. Whoa, look at that red. Wow. There's this Dior red. I have not got it yet. I don't know why. I keep forgetting because I have so many reds that I don't even use. And then that one winner I forgot. My red lipstick. Oh. <laughs> Going to Disney. I'm like, how can I be mini with no red lip? Like, hello. These people walk and then they just turn and walk away. Let's see. This is the HD skin. Oh, I already showed you this. Okay. So wait. It's Oh, this, this foundation, the HD Skin Twist and Light Powder, which is basically, it's a loose powder. Um, I got it in tan because I'm just going to use it on my cheeks because I got like other powders and stuff like the translucent powder. I got the setting powder and then a foundation powder. I just wanted like some definition in my face so I got tan because um it has like the peachy coral orangey blushes that I love and then I came with this so this whole set full size products in this bag for um 30% off I think that's amazing. So instead, this foundation instead of it being forty five, it was twenty eight bucks. And then instead of this foundation being like thirty thirty something, I think I spent no, I think it said seventeen dollars for the foundation. And then one of the I think this one was like twelve dollars. I don't remember the discount. I don't even remember how much the yeah. oh. so like I don't know it kind of like looks open and I was like oh no and then there's like the mica the glitter is going everywhere I could see all the glistening glittery
Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. That's the orange color that I was talking about. So yeah, I mean these are they're pretty light. I hope they don't go on like chalky on me. I don't think so. Makeup fiber is really good. Yeah, at first I was like, oh no, it's so dusty. It's it's everywhere in the box. It's open. Oh no, <laughs> but it's sealed. So I just love when products and companies go that extra mile when they don't seal the box. They seal the product. I absolutely love that so, and that was the foundation kit and let's see so i believe well no this mix fix and this mist and fix matte this one is a hydrating these are different these are just different <laughs> Um, this one is Midday, this light velvet air shine control refreshing spray. This is like if I were to set it now, like I'm leaving work and I just worked a eight hour shift and uh, I'm going to go blot my oil away and then I'm going to put on some powder and then I'm going to spray my face and I'm going to go to the mall. That's Okay, what? Some sounds harsh. Oh, it's inside. I thought it was like this, you know what I mean? Ooh, it's, if you could feel this bottle, it's like, it feels like it's like, it's plastic, but also it like just feels like it's like a metal, you know, like the aerosol, a Morphe, like that black can or something like that. That's how it feels. Um, this one I got the 24 hour hydrating setting mist because like sometimes when you put on foundation and powder and stuff, you just look like crazy, right? It doesn't look like skin. So when you, uh, put the mist fix, uh, 24 hour hydrating setting mist and like, say if like you have combination skin, then basically you would have to use three. <laughs> You would have to use, uh, let's see, the hydrating mist after, let's see, long lasting 12 hour, hold on, mist and fix matte. Mist and fix matte. So one of these, because they're totally different. One is 24 hours and one is 12 hours. This is a mist and fix for long lasting and moisturizing. But this is also, which is this one? It's not, is it hydrating? Is hydrating the same as moisturizing? I don't know. <laughs> and then this one is a 24 hour shine control setting mist. So one of these you would have to put it on oh that's like a good like a good question for makeup forever like teach us how you would use the four spreading uh spreading for a setting sprays at one sitting <laughs> in one consultation and one makeup application because i would use one because i'm going to use their oil control um in my t-zone their primer and then i'm gonna use uh like a foundation and do i set that foundation before i add powder or do you add your foundation powder and then spray it with the matte and then add all these other like your blushes your setting powders and everything else and then when you're done adding your blushes and your setting pow uh, your setting powders, you then mist with the hydrator. Or like when your eyeshadows and everything is done, then do you mist with the hydrator? 
or do you miss with the hydrator? And then the finalizing is the mat? That's like a really good question. And that's a good question for me because I got all the high, the mists. <laughs> so I need to know what order it would go in. And I'm going to do that. And then the neighbor just rolled up. So fun for me. <laughs> He's cool. Okay, what is this one? Oh, I already explained this one. This is the triangle sponge. Oh, no. What? This is the freaking... Not the triangle sponge one. Oh my god, look at all that mica, all the glitter. Okay, so I showed you this one. This triangle sponge powder one. Oh my gosh, okay. And let's see. Oh, you want to see the limited edition setting spray for this one? I really freaking love this bottle. This was, um the colors for February because it is super gold and then also a house over here they always put like different lights under their I don't want to say their awning but it's like I don't know what it's called it's like where the drain sits but underneath it's like where the roof you have a roof on top of your house and like there's just like a bunch of paneling and they put like these uh lights they always change the light colors and they had purple and red for February and of course now they have green. Um, I just unsealed this. So this is the Makeup Forever. Duh, it's a Makeup Forever haul. It's the Artist Color Pro Palette for your eyes and face. And I could have swore, look the sun is officially behind the cloud going down. What a difference. <laughs> The packaging, I have to keep the packaging. I love it. Unless it's the same. No. I need to keep it in here because I have eyebrows that are in the same palette and it'll just get me confused. And I love keeping my products inside their boxes. So this is exciting. Look how it looks in the back. Oh, it just says letters. It doesn't really say. <laughs> what i guess you can like repurchase this is h106 what is that oh this h106 so i guess you can rebuy it you can repurchase but i bought it for this color but these are all so pretty oh i wish that the sun was still shining on it oh my goodness i also love this Wow. Oh my goodness. This one has pink glitter. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I never really like. I'm like so in love with Makeup Forever. Oh my goodness. I'm like so in love with them. You have no idea. I'm like, I can't wait to see all my items in my Makeup Forever bags. <laughs> And that's it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. I'm going to be linking down below in the description box every single product that I purchased. And then I will um, put the the sale price or the discount price. It's not really. Well, yeah, it's a friends and family event. Sale event? I don't know. Anyways, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll list also the names of the eyeshadows as well as this palette. This is the triple, no, yeah, well, double O, double zero three tangerine palette. Um, I missed one item, but I think I, I noticed like kind of like this the sequence of um the same thing going on i only spend like 120 each time um this was like something really special because they they don't have like really big uh gift sets like this so um i ended up getting two packages and one was just one gift set and then the other was these two so yeah that was really cool um i don't know <laughs> 
But yeah, I want to do my eyeshadow now. I um, I want to do my eyeshadow. Should I do my eyeshadow real quick? Let's see. Do my eyeshadow how? Do I do I do what? Do I even have? I mean, I have eyeshadow on. I just don't have a shadow primer on. So let's see. Let's take everything out of the box now. Should I do the all over white? I think so. I really want to see. I just love um, white. The color white is like so difficult for companies to get white. So white is always like fun to try. Oh wait, okay, let's see. Because I'm gonna have like a mark on my nose <laughs> from my foundation. Mm, not that bad. I know, I didn't put setting powder, so I have, like, a mascara kiss with me. I don't know. My eyelashes kissed my lord. Did I clean off any foundation so it's not in my freaking freshly... Well, I blow-dried it yesterday. It's not fresh. <laughs> let's see. Let's do the giant fluffy one. This is fun. This is exciting. I never did my makeup on camera. Cut. If you want to see the full video, click on my... Nothing I got. <laughs> oh! Nothing I got. Perfect. This is a freaking huge brush. This is definitely for this white eyeshadow look. It's very mod. See, it just like awakens. Like, you just look brighter, more awake, more alert. Like you're paying attention to him when he's talking about the Home Depot. <laughs> How youthful! I'm telling you, it's making a comeback. You've seen it here first. My 33 views. <laughs> oh, yeah, I used to do this all the time. NYX NYX had something that looked just like this. <gasps> and it had three circles. Three, yeah. Because I was like, you know what? The other, the four, the five, or whatever is too much. The three was perfect. It was my every single day. I worked. Five, six days a week. I didn't want to get ready. Had to get ready. And it was just a white one. And I still look for it till this day. And 
has a phenomenal eyeshadow palette. I need to do my eyebrows. I haven't done my eyebrows since January. spend hours doing my makeup that's a lot <laughs> I'm so worried I'm gonna get a vanity girl because I spend alright oh, we ain't going anywhere I took too long getting ready to start everything's closed <laughs> just kidding ooh that one is too much glitter it's not sticking it's like a glitter puff, puff plus glitter. Poof. I don't, these, these are the only three matte colors. And this one? This, which one is it? This one? This pink one? Do these for your skin? Let me see. Let me see. Why is it so big? Oh, yes, because it says face and eye, right? Yeah, eyes and face. So it is a highlighter. And this video can get up to 50 minutes. Anyways, <laughs> not trying on that red lipstick. It's super bright. Well, that's me playing. All right, I have to go uh, fill my drawers up. I have to go take out the makeup that is high. Wait, I can't even, I can't even say bye. The sun decided to come back as soon as I was up. Okay. Okay, I have to take my... It is so bright, you guys. I have to take my makeup forever and head inside and see what I can organize and get ready for my sister and make a, like, a little goodie bag for her. And basically, like, put all my other Makeup Forever um, brushes and palettes and all that other fun stuff together. So, I hope you enjoyed this haul and, like, the mini little eyeshadow and highlighting tutorial. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.